Hey, Jamie, welcome back. Um, with the number of guys in COVID protocol this uh, part of the month, what can you share about uh, how often uh, you kept in touch with the other guys uh, who are going through a similar thing and uh, what you were able to do to stay mentally and emotionally balanced before getting out? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, we were kind of checking up on each other every so often, just see what everyone was doing. And, um, you know, it sounded like for the most guys, most part, you know, guys uh, managed it pretty well. And I think, uh, you know, we were all just excited to get back to the rink and get back in the swing of things. And um, personally, I just try to stay busy, you know, tough time to get COVID over the holidays, but, you know, make sure to keep in contact with the family and um, get some FaceTime in with them. And, you know, just try and stay as active as possible, you know, and go for walks and whatnot and uh, obviously distance, but uh, just stay busy and make sure that I was ready to hit the ground run when we got back. Marissa. Yeah, when you initially test positive, like, what's your reaction? Like, what goes through your mind just knowing you have to be in isolation for 10 days? It's like, how do you, like, what's the mental, emotional reaction to all that at first? Uh, you know, obviously it sucks because, you know, at that time we didn't have games postponed, so I figured I'd be missing a few games, you know. Um, I guess I'm only missing one now, hopefully. But um, I think as soon as it happened, I just wanted to get away from everyone as quick as possible and make sure that I did what I had to to take care of myself, you know, in terms of getting the right medications and, you know, making sure that I was stocked up on, you know, food and whatnot. And, um, just be prepared for whatever, um, you know, obviously you want to get through it as quickly as possible and make sure that you're taking care of yourself and isolating. And, you know, I just made a point of doing that. Brian. Hey, Jamie, with a day like today, what's the balance like of, yes, you want to be able to be a full participant, but at the same time, you don't want to overexert yourself as well, given that there has been a little bit of a layoff. Yeah, I mean, I, I think... You just got to feel it out. You know, I think uh, as athletes, you got to be in tune with your body and you just got to make sure, like you said, you don't want to, you know, push too hard. But at the same time, you we got a game tomorrow and you want to be ready for that. And I think, uh, you know, we did a good job today just making sure that we were doing the, the drills necessary to uh, be ready for tomorrow. It wasn't uh, too bad, but it was you got to feel the puck a little bit and get the legs going. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good and ready for tomorrow. I think, like I said, when you're waiting around in your house for 10 days, you're kind of ready to just get active again, and um, it's just good to be back at the rink. Scott? Jamie, you said you've been kind of working hard to try to hit the ground running as quickly as possible. You know, do you feel personally like you're physically ready to kind of get back to your normal workload of sort of a heavy log of minutes, or are you kind of in a wait to see, dip your toe in the water and see how it feels tomorrow night? I mean, if today's practice was an indication, I, I felt fine. I mean, the lungs felt good, the legs felt good. So, I mean, you know, I guess you never know until you play a game. But overall, I've been, you know, I exerted myself pretty well today, and I, I felt pretty good that I could handle it. So, uh, yeah, I'm ready to go tomorrow. Obviously, you know, you got to make sure that, you know, you take the necessary steps and, you know, you still want to be careful. But um, overall, I think I'm ready to go. Anything else here? All right, thanks, Jamie. Yeah, no problem, guys. Take care.